earlier this year, about six months ago in fact, I went to a train show that turned out to be a great source for projects. The selection was good and so were the prices. I miss these shows. I wish they had them during the summer. But around here, it's mostly a fall, winter, and spring sort of deal. I think the next one won't be until September. But as I was leaving this swap meet last February, I decided to spend $10 on this little Lionel Alco shell. It's in fairly decent shape, but the silver paint on the roof needs help. The red paint around the nose is mostly okay. The decal on the front is nearly 100% intact, which is good so far. But the front apron has been broken, and that will need to be repaired or replaced. little dish soap and a very soft toothbrush help remove years of gunk and greasy fingerprints. A clean surface is key for any paintwork, and wet sanding feathers in the areas of missing and damaged paint on the roof. I used fine modeler's tape from Tamiya for the edges, and then blue painter's tape to mask off the rest. I was really nervous about damaging the black and yellow stripes because I wasn't planning on having to touch them up. Some spots were a little thin, but I wanted to keep them original. The silver paint was mostly just a very fine dusting to the sides, and then several light coats to the roof. The silver spray paint is from Rust-Oleum, and it's a pretty close match to the Lionel color. It's not very shiny, but neither was the original, so I think this is one problem fixed. Now it's on to the broken plastic piece up front. I have a decent amount of sheet plastic laying around. And I'm going to just temporarily cement the shell to the styrene in order to trace the shape as closely as possible. I ran the knife along the lines a few times to make a cut deep enough so that I could eventually snap it away from the larger piece. Thank <laughs> you. 
With the rough shape of the repair section established, it's time to trim away the broken areas of the Alco shell. I left the repair section a little larger because it's much easier to remove material than it is to add it back. There will be more trimming and sanding later on, but this way is much safer. A little bit of Tamiya's Modeler's Putty will fill in any trace of a gap as well as any sanding marks. Once the putty is dry, I'll wet sand with 220 grit paper and then it's ready for paint. I've had a few Lionel F3s and this is my second Lionel Alco decorated with the Santa Fe Warbonnet paint scheme. I've struggled to find a decent red that is a match for the Lionel color. Until now. A recent trip to Menards led me to a different shelf in the spray paint aisle where I found this. Rust-Oleum's Ford Red for farm and agricultural equipment. And it turned out to be a perfect match for the existing Lionel paint both in color and in level of shininess. Or is it sheen? Shininess might not even be a word, but I can tell you this, it's a really close match. I'd like to keep as much of the original paint and graphics as possible. So on the smaller areas of missing paint or nicks, I'll just spray some of the Ford Red into a cup and use a brush. This was once a red and silver Alco also, but it was too far gone for minor touch-ups. I repainted the shell and the frame, and right now it's the only base I have that will work with this kind of Alco shell, so they'll have to share. I may end up repainting this frame because it's possible that it's actually too shiny. But with only a little bit of it showing beneath the shell, it'll work for now.
If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this has been Bob's Workshop. Take care.